Ladies and gentlemen, when I was listening to the morning session, I couldn't help myself but think of past times. And I remember two typical pictures. The first, President de Gaulle was hurrying to a Paris uh, summit. Everyone was shouting all sorts of things and criticizing him, and he was listening, and then he reached into his pocket and he turned it inside out. And then he started saying what he wanted to say. And the other idea I had was in Hungary, since 1961, there was a principle of the common uh, Soviet market, according to which it is better to import goods than to produce them ourselves. And this happened before the idea of sustainability emerged. And now, in the European Union, we have two political issues, energy supply and environmental protection. And the latter is actually uh, a kind of a fight against fossil fuels. And this leads to dilemmas, and this ideology leads to dilemmas, because in the face of ecology and climate change, we also impede the right to development. This is destructive on culture. If exploiting our own natural resources is something that we give up, this destro destroys our structure, uh, culture. That is why I think it makes sense to speak of these issues uh, with regard to the 50 years life cycle of the different infrastructural uh, equipment and all proposals on developing energetics. It is important to think about consumers and the consumers of uh, coal, coal has to play a role. The title of my speech is The Role of Coal in Our Region, and I would like to speak of Poland, Slovakia, uh, Czech Republic, and Hungary, our potential, our possibilities, and natural uh, endowments, and, of course, the opinions in the profession in energy policy. Let us now give an overview in this diagram about the global situation. And if we look at the exploitation of coal in the different sectors, then we see that petroleum and coal have a very important role. Natural gas has a regional uh, but also a global uh, importance. And uh, energy production is local. The population has been misguided in relation to coal. And within the economy, we don't even get in good answers to the question why Central European coal mining has been actually a victim of economic re reconstruction, especially in Central Europe. Another diagram, energy is something that 
cannot be uh, substituted with labor, human labor. And therefore, uh, energy consumption is in correlation to growth. Energy production, 90% of uh, energy production is based on mining and uh, reaping natural resources. In the four, four places, we find uh, fuels, petroleum, coal, and gas. The ratio of coal is 40% in electricity production. In uh, China, we see 79%, um, 81% in India, and 51 in the US. 96 in Poland, 63 in Czech Republic, and 48% in Romania, the ratio of coal and electricity production. In Hungary, due to the, even though we have a decline uh, in uh, coal mining, we have a, a strong role of coal and electricity production. Uh, today, it is a great, uh, of great political concern that the different polities are competing for natural resources and energy resources. And the different states uh, use energy resources as a tool to achieve political goals. The, a growing ratio of fuels, such as coal and nuclear energy, uh, will be uh, exploited in politically risky uh, countries due to the fact that there is a scarcity and an imbalance in endowments in these resources. Those countries that used to have uh, a lo an abundance in resources are also importing uh, raw materials and they will they are interested in uh, increasing prices science has not um, brought about a, a model or an analysis uh, in the correlation of declining in these uh, energy resources and industrialization um, important regulations uh, are um, brought in uh, with regard to coal and import also uh, obstructs or, or uh, weighs down on the foreign trade uh, balance. There are cheap uh, transporters of uh, coal supplies, and therefore uh, many countries choose not to exploit their own resources. Uh, the mining experts also dispute uh, this decrease in coal uh, production. For example, the Polish Wysocki professor talked of uh, the fact that there's a 200 million million ton uh, of uh, consumption in, in coal, and there is no uh, actual sign that Europe will leave the, uh, coal consumption. Well, black and brown coal is more and more eco environmentally friendly, and the economic growth and efficiency is dictated by the country's uh, interests and not doctrines adopted on international level. We do, should not adopt an anti-coal policy. Coal can, on the long term, uh, um, give enough jobs and, and working opportunities in the regions. We have a coal production which is equivalent to that in 1953, three, and it is also discouraging um, that the coal's uh, ratio in the energy mix will be uh, will fall by its third, and black coal 
used to be 20% uh, cheaper than natural glass. And another Polish uh, academic uh, talked of the, the price in relation to hydroelectricity and other um, resources. I think this is what is important when planning our future energy mix in the next 20 years. Coal is the cheapest um, energy resource uh, and the only energy resource which enables us to um, maintain self-sufficiency or autarky in energy. 10 billion ton can be uh, exploited in the Czech Republic. 3% uh, is lignite, the rest is black coal and 60%. 70% of the electricity is produced from coal in 2010, 86,000 gigawatt hour was produced from coal, and 70% of the power plants were fueled by, by uh, coal plants. Ch the Czech Republic was dependent on coal uh, in 25%. And European uh, countries, in average, have a 53% uh, dependency, which is much higher. Energy policy actually adapts to European energy policy, and the renewable energy uh, ratio has to be um, the increased from 8% to 15%. In 2009, uh, they overachieved their limit. And the concept for 2003, uh, 2030, were um, encompassing 30, 32 percent of solid fuels and 20 to 35 percent nuclear ratio. Energetical import dependency should not um, be over 20, uh, 75 percent. In relation to this data, it is important to talk of other colleagues' opinions as well. Mirek Topolanek, a former prime, prime minister who is now a member of the board uh, related or responsible for central heating. You all know how coal can be uh, protected and saved. We have to put another domestic energy resource into the place of uh, coal, and we shouldn't give up our self-sufficiency. This procedure should be conducted slowly and gradually, and this is how it can be dealt with economically. A fast substitution of coal can only be done through gas imports. By substituting coal with natural gas in central heating, this would take a more than 50% uh, rise in imports with m many billions of crowns spent on uh, imports, and it would be actually a cost of uh, photovoltaic installations uh, in a large amount, and the heating price uh, would not be returned. So uh, brown coal will play an, a strong role in heating, and, heating, um, and the state has to um, prepare the conditions for this. So Vekia has a very scar great scarcity in, in energy resources. It is dependent on petroleum, natural gas, and black coal. For the economy, uh, there is a great uh, uranium, lignite, and uh, brown coal uh, asset. 
Coal features as 7 to 8 percent in the energy mix, and um, there's a, a potential here to decrease import de dependency and to increase reliability. Since 2005, uh, the uh, heat power plants work on domestic coal with 8.7 terawatt hour uh, capacity. Coal can uh, last 40 years uh, in for Slovakia's uh, needs in uh, energy demands. Uh, so they have uh, imported uh, brown coal, and uh, the imported part has been uh, to uh, use to produce coke and. Uh, the, in the raw material policy of the country, coal mining and uh, uh, electricity generation out of coal is recognized. Um, it is also uh, it has good uh, social reasons, and it's the, gov the government's interest as well, state interest. All the tools that they are using in this. Um, Field. Many say that it could be used somewhere else, but the government says that all these investments uh, shouldn't only be interpreted as support or incentives for the miners, because there are four th over 4,000 miners and over 15,000 uh, workers who are related to the electricity support system. In 2010, uh, in Slovakia, the price of uh, a megawatt hour was 105 e euros, um, and from photovoltaic, it was uh, 430. Um, between 2007 and 9, mining system had 4 million euro of state sub uh, subventions for it, uh, establishing uh, more capacities, more uh, 500 more working places, and they have received uh, 27,000 euro of uh, other incentives. Officially, um, according to the press, um, foreign investors have invested or have incentives of 50, 75,000 euros for just one worker uh, work or working place that they are producing. Uh, local investments have been uh, supported um, by 25, 37 million euros. Hungary, uh, besides coal and uranium, does not really have any primary fuel. Um, um, there are researches on natural gas exploitations, but we do not have any big hopes on this subject. But still, I think our supply is the best in coal, independently uh, from everything. We can use coal in any manner, um, just how we need it, because we have enough supplies. And in the current economic situation, maybe um, the lignite could be another point where we should rely on. Um, and in different uh, towns in Hungary, there are different capacities uh, and different power plants. But we could also rely on this. And, um, local communities and local industries uh, would benefit from the 250 or 350 units that could be planted in Mecek, Oroszlán, Veszprém, or Borsod, in the coal uh, basins. In 75, the Hungarian coal mining has produced heating as just as uh, of the same amount as the biggest amount ever used in electricity consumption. Uh, the refusing of coal um, has many additional costs, and there are many uh, useless, now useless ener energy investments, and these are great, great costs that are uh, 
um, actually larger than any other cost in the new investment. And a uh, very important question is uh, what kind of power plants based on which fuels we should set up. We should have an influence on the costs of the establishment of new power plants and of the, on the operation costs and on the operation security. We should assess this risk as well. We should keep this in mind because uh, uh, these uh, plants are actually based on profit and it shouldn't be against the uh, economic interests. But we should also consider the statement that many accidents in, in the field of energy are actually due to human failure. And although we could reduce the number of these accidents through the qualification and education of the given professionals, but we can never uh, di disregard the fact that there are accidents. And who could actually tell that in uh, insecure plants, all the pipelines or the tasks in nuclear power plants, which have not yet accept, been accepted due to f lack of technological methods, like uh, heating units that need to be substituted, uh, destruction of old power plants, or uh, concerning modern coal power plants, uh, we don't have these uh, disadvantages. But uh, the CO2 emission at the end user is large, and to be able to reduce the global effect of this leads to the fact that all the emissions of the mining procedures should be measured because all the coal that is burned just next to the exploitation uh, has a smaller emission than at the end user. And leading countries at the highest political level deny each other to take responsibilities in the field of the reducing of, of reduction of uh, CO2 emissions based on political realities. According to the Kyoto Protocol, people don't think this is very useful or efficient. Canada has opted, or J uh, Japan, and even two weeks ago, Russia have opted against it. Um, concerning coal energy, that we are trying to reduce the use of coal is actually impeding the development of this sector. and. Uh, we are spending a lot of money on buying raw materials and for this reason and because there is a lack of orders on the Hungarian market, we should tackle subjects like coal chemistry and energy machinery production. All those against this uh, tendency. Uh, all those who are against coal energy production, they forgot about the most important that the cheapest electricity is produced out of coal and the profit is actually the possibility to survive. Since the European Union had to transfer many programs because they couldn't fulfill the objectives of, for example, the Lisbon program, and it has been proved that even 100 modern objectives couldn't help us go forward, we need to find three or four objectives which are the most uh, advantage uh, of the greatest advantage for, for the economy. And instead of a miming economy, we should invent new technologies and techniques we are in a dead end, and somehow we find a way. Have to find a way out. 
the political decision makers have to change their point of view and have to find a way to an integrated system according to the rules of which we could even operate the partial subsystems. We always see that results coming out of the model tell us that the accept expected correct solutions are not part of the input data. So, uh, I wanted to show that coal mining is still a place in the energy strategy of the V4 countries, and I have supported this by facts. These are uh, the Czech Republic, uh, po Poland, uh, Slovakia, and uh, Hungary have sufficient coal treasures, and they can use and they can rely upon this uh, treasure. And due to the uh, coal treasure and the technology that is available, uh, even the Slovak Republic uh, may consider this as an interest to exploit the coal treasure in the country. And another uh, important consequence that uh, the imported coal uh, fuels uh, produce a lot of CO2 emissions and we should uh, assess this emission in the proper way because just saying that this is uh, something that is wrong to have CO2 emissions is it's, it's not right. Um, it, there is a high price of uh, electricity, and even the production of electricity involves a high price. If in Germany and in French, since 2010, the incentives for green uh, resources is being reduced, are being reduced, then even the poorest countries couldn't reach uh, the targets for 2020. Next, in the next 20 years in uh, electricity generation, uh, the reduction of the coal, uh, of the use of coal, uh, will take a long time, and it's unsecure. It's uncertain if uh, the technical content of this whole uh, approach is really to be supported or uh, to be well explained. Uh, as regards the economic situation, relying upon the imported fuels is already a very problematic uh, question. We shouldn't forget about the fact that uh, the separation of the world into developing and developed countries has to be tackled and uh, the different uh, a distribution of uh, demands and consumptions in the world has changed. And um, we have an academy in Shevetsbanya uh, where uh, our ancestors have taught about uh, the proper use of our resources. And we should get back to these theories, I think. I think we always and we still need this attitude, this kind of uh, uh, Science and there have been a mineral resources conference in Leuven, and 70% of the world's mining countries have been represented, and all the representatives of these sectors have found it timely to address the governments of the European Union and address the commissions, and they have also fixed that the. Mining and raw materials supply is a task of economic stakeholders, and we need uh, the, to set the conditions and reinforce the conditions of uh, uh, energy supply. And the task of the European Commission is to help in those fields where national governments are already overburdened. Professional uh, approach may get closer to politics as well. 
and may ensure for a long term with the least uh, social impact um, to ensure the energy supply and uh, still use coal in the future. But uh, we should consider uh, the refusal of this negative uh, uh, consideration of coal, the use of coal, and I would like to initiate an honest professional debate on this subject. Thank you very much for your attention.